And welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 6 Expert, where today, hooked them to some melons. Uh, but in between episodes, I've been doing a little bit. You'll see we've got a, we got a thing happening up here. Um, probably a little bit of a waste of time, um, as we'll see in a second. But uh, I've also expanded out our food mana situation to include another mana spreader, you know, dropper, feed fooding Gomorellus thing and we're now chucking mana into a mana splitter and we just have four mana pools sitting here with sparks on them for terra steel crafting um, I have thought I might even chuck some more endo flames in here and you know double up these mana splitters or mana spreaders rather uh, because we could have another couple running like we could get rid of all of this and put grass everywhere and have heaps of these endo flames um, and then just I'll actually run the uh, refined storage cable from over there somewhere into here and keep keep coal stocked in here or burnable things at least and that should keep mana reasonably stocked up uh, so we need to craft a couple of more bits of terra steel to finish off the celestial gateway which I think is the last thing aside from the terra steel that we need for this elven gateway core and that's of course Progressing through our Master Magic quests, uh, get the Elven Gateway to get the Celestial Altar, to get the Mana Infuser to get the Iridescent Altar, uh, because this is going to unlock crafting solar neutron irradiators from Mechanism, so we can reprocess some of that nuclear fuel into other nuclear fuel stuff that we use for other crafting. We just struggled to craft that last Terra Steel, so we got five of them. But yeah, all these mana pools are, they're going to need a bit of time to recharge, but that's okay. Yeah, we can leave that um, ready to go next time we want to craft some more of them. Uh, we've kind of got a bunch of that happening in this chest. And a bunch of runes that need crafted. And yeah, this is all kind of torn down because I, I put stuff here. But hey, we need two of these, I think. Then let's get rid of these bits and pieces for now. What oh, I needed a glass lens. That's right. That needed oh, another one of these infused lenses. That's right. That's where I got frustrated. Um, now we can craft red chalk. And I think we can do that now. If we craft red chalk, uh, that means we will be able to move all that stuff that's in the item into this dimension, which would be way better because the item is very annoying and constantly has mobs. We might have the stuff for this. And this should be just about finished. Uh, I think it was, there we go. There we go. Red chalk. Now I didn't get the game stage. I didn't get the game stage. That's unfortunate. There must've been a game stage before red chalk. Um, so we're gonna have to jump into creative mode. I want that um, to resolve that. Uh, which is unfortunate, but then we can never ever ever come back to this dimension again because it constantly spawns mobs and it's really annoying to do anything. So we want to grab all of these bits and pieces and we'll set up something in our base. Um, for doing this, I'm not going to go too crazy because I'm a little bit short on time to record, so I kind of want to focus on getting through some progression rather than, uh, you know, like recreating this in the overworld would be kind of nice. Uh, but it's probably, it's not going to be that fancy. I'll leave those, those runes set up in case for some reason we ever had to come back. We shouldn't need to. Should be fine. A couple of bits and pieces. Uh, we can now use this thing, which... Yeah, it's kind of just set up on the grass. Kind of just set up on the grass, but at least... Oh, I'm missing... Actually, I am missing something. I'm missing the foliate. Foliate. And now... Yeah, this is way better than having to do this at the atom. Nice. And yeah, just making a couple... Uh, because... Well, these are annoying to make and I have not automated uh, any part of it. 
which has been mentioned as being an issue with why I keep running into into problems. But yeah, yeah, I really need to. I really need to do that. But cool. I think we just needed one of these. Uh, let's clear out that. Um, we needed glass lenses. We needed glass lenses. And I think we can auto craft these. And this should get us some of these. And yeah, there's four of them. I think we're going to have to wait till night time to do this. Now, isn't there the blood magic thing that lets us skip the, the night? I probably want to look into that. Now, if we grab all of this, we need... Oh. Right, I am no, I'm missing a couple of other bits and pieces, although none of that looks too bad. Some gold, some stardust, crystal of some description. Yeah, it won't be too bad. Okay, so it might have changed in this pack. I remember you used to be able to just like right click a block with lapis or something. But apparently this, so a moonstone, a silver ingot. Now I can't remember what moonstones were like to craft. Ooh. Okay, well, that worked, that worked. Now it is night time and now we're building up starlight. Um, I happen to have a lot of moonstones, but I don't remember what they were like to craft. Uh, just for a moment. This is something I should have automated a long time ago, and that is lightning crafting. I know there are ways to do it, and I've just never done it, and I really should have, because crafting this is annoying, and I normally do it in bulk. Yeah, we're still not going to do it today, but uh, we should be good now. To almost craft... The Elven Gateway Core. I think I have everything in that we need for that. I think once we get the Celestial Gateway, um, which we could be using these for teleporting, which would be kind of cool, but... Mm, I mean, getting the glass lenses is the most annoying part there. Maybe Nocturnal Powder if you don't have much of that, but I've been, I'm sure I've found that in chests quite a bit. And uh, Apparently we need some more of those torches that stop mob spawning. But uh, cool. One celestial gateway. And then we can craft the Elven Gateway Core. Nice. And that should be sweet. And then then we can get um I'll pick that up just in case. Just in case it was gonna despawn, which it shouldn't, but just in case. Uh, now we can get into like Elementium, Pixie Dust, Dragonstone. Ooh, we got another Gormoralis. Nice. And some Runes of Wrath. Cool. So. I'm hoping that we can get away with checking these here. Not there. Um, he not there. There and there. And then is it just right click with the one of the forest? Yes it is. Now it looks like it's uh, away. We check the book in. Oh. Oh we did get the book back. I think it was just on the other side and I think Optify and Probably hides. Yeah, it hides heaps of stuff. <laughs> I think that's Optifine doing that. Okay, cool. And then the books got us this. And then now we can do like the Ritual of Gaia. We will probably have to do that at some point. But cool. Uh, Gaia Pylon. Right, we don't need attuned stuff yet. We needed Spectral Platforms, which needed Framed Dreamwood, which is just some Dreamwood, which was some more Living Wood. Oh, no, it's polished wood planks. Polished wood planks. Let's just... Now it was groups of four, right? So let's, let's not waste any. Uh, there should be more than that. I think some of it went back into the portal. I think some of it went back into the portal. Uh, what was polished? 
polished wood planks was living wood planks and the blood altar. We got some living wood planks. Okay, we're gonna need a bit of that. I'll, I'll quickly do that. And oh, this is slightly different. Whoops, I made a mistake. Um, let's get, I think just one of these will be fine. There's a pattern frame dreamwood. These are probably kind of cool building blocks, are they? I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, I don't really, again, not going to be doing any building at the moment, but that's cool. Whoops. Uh, that gets us these spectral platforms. Now, I feel like these are kind of cool, but I can't remember what they're used for. Uh, now why did that not craft what I wanted it to craft? Because that goes like that. Goes like that, and there's some of them. Oh, these are not real. Right. Right, these might, like, stop mobs or something. What do these do? It's tangible in certain certain cases. The special platform is permeable to anything regardless of its position. What? Uh, the oh, so this is a different one. Okay, is this just so you can like build stuff off the side? I don't know what the point of that is. But neat. That's gonna give us all the stuff, and I might just hide the aura things. It's kind of covering some bits and pieces. There we go. Uh, we want to craft the Celestial Altar. I think we have, aside from the Rune of Valheim, Tinker's Bronze. Now, I think Tinker's Bronze is different. I think Tinker's Bronze is the same. Now, we can craft that with copper and glass. Okay. And with a little bit of room crafting, I've kind of got this set up here, which it's actually kind of nice. Uh, kind of works. I think I think all of these can still reach that center one. Um, we kind of need to need to kickstart the food. I think I got food in this bag. Let's let's give some some decent food to uh, these things. Let's all keep them going for a while. Possibly, actually, it's probably a bit of a waste for those Epic Oreos. Uh, maybe we'll do like that. So hopefully most of these droppers are filled with stuff. Oh yeah, there's mana everywhere. Mana everywhere. And that's going to get us... Oh, that fox. That fox makes so many noises. <laughs> that gets us a Rune of Pride. Got the Rune of Summer back, which is nice. Rune of Pride, and we might be a little bit short of this other rune, because uh, I haven't actually seen it before. Oh no, Rune of Spring and a Rune of Earth. Rune of. Uh, we don't have a Rune of Spring, mate. We do have a Rune of Earth. Um, so we've got that. So we just need a Rune of Spring. We've got my eyes near. We need another. We need to see a sigil, which isn't too bad, but we need a Sight Regent, which. I use my last Divination Sigil, which means it needs a Tablet of Scrying. Oh, that's easy. That's just an Alchemy Ray. Okay, that won't be too bad. I'll whip these bits and pieces up. What was the Rune of Spring? Uh, tulips, Turf, Osiris. We still got some Osiris left. And there goes a Oops, didn't mean to pick them up. Uh, a Rune of Spring, I think. And that is everything we need for this. Now hopefully we get all of the stuff back. So Pride, Earth, Spring, Iesnium, Seer's Sigil. That's going to craft this. This looks like it takes a bit more mana. And this is the last thing we need for the Starlight Crafting Altar. And of course, it's becoming daytime, so we're going to want another Moonstone. 
Yeah, come on. Nice. And hey, cool. We got we got most of those runes back by the look of it. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to get this rune of Vanaheim back, uh, but that's okay. That goes in there. We got some runes. I always dislike crafting runes. <laughs> it's just a little bit fiddly and not super easy to automate. Uh, definitely possible, just not super easy. And uh, here we go. This is going to upgrade the altar. Now make sure uh, if there's anything else you want to craft before constructing the rest of this, make sure you do it before you right-click that. Because this is going to become an invalid altar uh, and we're going to have to redo the structure. Uh, and I might even... Oh, that was some, some lag. Ah, because we've learned more about constellations. And hey, we got a flare. Neat. I wonder if you could... You could probably make a, a Pneumatocraft spawner that would spawn them. I don't know why you'd want to, but you probably could. Uh, neat. So, we need to pick up the Celestial Altar. That has completed a couple of quests. Uh, no rewards. That's cool. A task completed Celestial Altar. That is actually probably going to tell us what we need. We need four chiseled marble, four ruined marble. Bunch of sort of, yeah, I'll assemble these bits and let's actually get this thing assembled. Uh, now, it did say that there is a building gadget schematic for doing things. Uh, for doing things, uh, for, you know, getting the layout of the altar. But, I mean, I think I might just craft it by hand. It's not going to be too bad, but, yeah, this is invalid now. This should be the last bits we needed. And it's assembled, and we don't have heaps of starlight. Hopefully just because it's becoming daytime and not because we need way more starlight for this. Now I think this is as big as the footprint of this thing gets. I think it kind of just extends upward for the next tier. Uh, and we could probably have a look at that if we wanted. That was the attunement. Oh, Celestial, no. That must have been the constellations for the iridescent altar. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the same. It just kind of extends. We have ourselves the Celestial Altar. We get a Crystal Prism. Huh. I can't remember what these do, to be honest. I don't know if I've actually used one. This might be new to this version of Astral Sorcery, or it's just something I've never touched. Crystal Prism. I mean, that's kind of difficult to make, so it's kind of cool that we got one. A crystal prism will evenly distribute, I guess that's supposed to be any, any starlight it receives from a collector to all its target links. Huh, neat. Uh, probably handy. Probably handy. And it's got purity 2 and shape 3. Cool. Uh, so that's uh, that quest done. We now have the Celestial Altar. We can look at doing the Mana Infuser. And I'm pretty sure we had to get down to the Iridescent Altar, but I think... Attunement altar is going to be next, and that looks like we need Gaia. Gaia pylons, we need to fight the Gaia Guardian. Uh, this should be easy now. Not too bad. Elven Honeycomb would be good. That's not too bad. It's not great. Nitro crystals that are easy enough to craft now, and oh, we have to make more of those. Um, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I'm sure we can pull that off. And then I've never touched the will stuff in Blood Magic, so that'll be cool. And that'll be the Attunement Altar, which, yeah. Gaia Spirit, whatever this will stuff is. Blood of... Okay. That's something new. That is something new. But hey, that'll do for now. We now have a Celestial Altar, and we'll be getting back into some more magic stuff uh, in the next episode. But anyway, it's been Classic Duff. Thanks for watching. Come back next time for some more. Enigmatica 6 Expert. See ya.